Hi folks, it's coming to the end of April now, so it's about time to start sowing some of the more tender things. So what I'm sowing today is I've got a few courgettes, a cucumber, which is market more, which is a sort of a ridge cucumber outdoor type one, and some climbing beans. So it couldn't be easy, I'll just do my cucumbers first. Well, I've got two. On them. So quite simply all I do with these because I've got loads of seeds in each pack I'm just going to sow two seeds I'm not going to bother riddling soil I'm just going to push them slightly under the surf surface so they're on their edge rather than on the sides it seems to help germination and then with all these they do benefit from a little bit of heat so I'll stick them in the old propagator so that's those and then just slightly cover them up no need to mess about riddling soil or anything. It's already watered the soil, the compost, so. So that's the old cucumbers done. Couldn't be simpler. So I put these in about 70, 75 degrees. So you can put them in an airing cupboard. And hopefully they should be, they do they tend to come up quite quickly. You can actually get them to germinate in about three or four days if you're lucky. So next job, just some simple, just going to plant a few climbing beans, French beans. Now there's one little slight tip with beans. So they say uh, if you look at a bean, it's got like a little little white point in the middle and apparently that's where you should, you should plant them that side downwards. So like same again, I just plant two in each pot and then two come up then I just snap the old snap the, the weaker one off. Plant these a little bit deeper, about a centimetre deep. Simply just placing that little slit downwards. Because apparently that's where the, the root comes out and then the old seed pops out above that. So, like I say, it couldn't be easier. No one needs to riddle any soil, just shove them in the soil about a centimetre deep. Just scrat a bit back over. You don't need heat with these, but they do tend to be up a bit quicker if you give them a little bit of extra heat. So that's that. Couldn't be easy, that's my French beans done. Same thing, I've got some courgettes. I've got these in slightly bigger pots because I might have to grow these on a little bit longer in case the weather doesn't warm up. And these are a little bit, they're still the same sort of size as a, as a cucumber seed, but just a little bit bigger. Exactly the same thing. Just push it into the soil, compost about a centimetre deep on its edge. And that's that, couldn't be simpler. Make sure I don't get all my seeds mixed up. The label's in. So that's courgettes done. There's no point in messing about riddling soil, you don't need to, just because they're quite a big seed, they don't need anything particularly. Five, we've got quite a big strength so they can push through more stuff. And then finally, coriander, I like to sow them in modules. And I don't like to just sow once, I like to put a few seeds in, I'm not bothered if they get a bit, you better get a bit uh, crowded because they always seem to grow. Just turn again, just make a little dimple. I'm gonna sow about three or four in each. Matter if you get three, four, five. Same thing about, well, at least probably about half a centimetre deep, quarter of an inch deep, so. No messing about, just to get them in. Same thing, just then just lightly cover them. No need to water because I've already watered the compost. That's the one of the worst things you can do is if you've got seed like coriander, which is well, it's quite buoyant. If you did just riddle some soil over the top and then water it, it can tend to sort of float to the top and end up on the surface of the soil again. So it's better to to water your compost before you sow, and then if you do riddle it, that'll suck up a bit of any moisture it needs. So anyway, that's just a bit of sowing done now that it's well nearly into May. So. Hopefully we should uh, be able to plant some tender stuff out in about two weeks time.